why it looks, talking about the feelings and stuff, <laughs> uncomfortable and painful. <laughs> Rather like jumping on a bike without a seat. <laughs> so um, recently, Mike and I did a spot filming. Sorry, I'll do my own sound effects. <laughs> um, it was a very good experience. I'd be full, full wet, a bit of makeup, you know. Ooh. Nice new girlfriend, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was for the um, Target Benefit Thieves campaign. <laughs> so, uh, I'd just like to stress if anyone is from that company in the audience, I don't earn anything. Honest. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a poem. Nobody laughed then, so that obviously means there's a chance that there's someone in the crowd from, but hey, it's Christmas, give me a fucking break, man. <laughs> so I'm going to perform the poem I did for that. There, what's written in the new year? This is Mind the Gap. It's unnatural, all of us crammed in like last minute revision. As I hurtle towards my destination, I'm surrounded by people with headphones stuffed into ears, all staring at a fixed point on the ground, trying not to meet each other's gaze. Desperately trying not to acknowledge one another. Desperately trying to shut the well out. All these people trying to be invisible, it's ridiculous. We are ridiculous. And I have to fight the edge to laugh in everyone's face. And as I try and stifle a grin, I look up and I see hair. I see her caramel skin and milk chocolate hair. I see her arms folded across a canary yellow top. I see her legs emerge from her skirt like a run of good fortune. And she sees me. She looks me in the eye. She sees me smiling. And she smiles back. And in that moment, we connect. Both sensing the absurdity of the situation, we share it like a private joke. And in that moment, I want her so much. And in that moment, I give anything in the world just to be near her because she isn't afraid to exist. And her smile reminds me that I exist. As I approach my stop, I get up, take a final look, let hair crystallise in my mind, become a memory. A reminder that in the space within the gaps between us all, there's still enough room for a little bit of hope. Thank you. So yeah. Performance poetry here. Eh? Who'd have thunk it? Um, it's one of those things I think, performance poetry, I think, it, as we're demonstrating, is a good night's entertainment. Once you get beyond all the literary stuff, it's something you can come and enjoy yourself, like theatre or cinema, things like that. I think part of the problem is, we've had a bit of an image problem, thanks to a movement in the early 80s called Rant Poetry, which was basically bunch of pseudo-socialists with regional accents coming out with genius stuff like I can't wait till Maggie Thatcher's dead so I can piss on her and other political pearls of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, this movement is really summed up for me by one particular person. Coronation Street's very own Craig Charles. <laughs> now I don't know how many of you know but um, he actually started off as a performance poet before going on to star in Red Dwarf, present Robot Wars, get cleared of rape, appear on Coronation Street and get caught smoking crack in the back of a taxi, which is a pretty strange career path to follow, I think you'll agree with me there. So I'd like to dedicate this to Craig. I'd really like to meet him one day actually. Um, and this is Fake Plastic Socialist Poets. Bleat 
sitting like sheep repeating the same old tired shit over and over again like a washed up man club singer who's gone insane from repeatedly doing the same requests beating on your chest in a rhythm I've heard a thousand times before and it was probably the first time you did it and it's so boring now watching as you plough the same dry patch of barren air the death of new ideas as your fears become a reality kissing goodbye to any hope of originality in your desperate scramble for notoriety thinking you're some kind of aristocracy sycophantic royalty you pie you sickens me Every time you open your mouth, it's like a school kid read out SEO your match, it's TV. And I respond with ferocity, it might not be pretty, but at least it's on the gut. I put my money where my mouth is. The words burning as they pour out like a toxic spill that kills the local wildlife. So stick another knife in me back. Continue your journey down a well beaten track. The easiest one you can find, I'm sure in your own mind. You're up there with someone like Zephaniah or John Cooper Clark, but in reality you're just stumbling around in the dark, trying to put together parts that just don't fit. Your democracy is actually a dictatorship, an opportunity to roll out your greatest hits over inflated past glories, incoherent politics and stories designed to make you appear unique. Raise you to the status of legend within your own little clique, the same people you hang out with, the ones who are always there when you speak. So, I'm leaving you to it. Your lame quest to turn lyrical rags into riches. A bunch of snivelling stitches. So far up each other's ass, you practically prison bitches. Thank you. <laughs> But anyone who knows me with any sort of thing knows I like to try and commit career suicide at every available opportunity. <laughs> Speaking of which, this is the final one, and um, it's, it's a weird one. It's, uh, I got asked to write it a couple of years back when um, Hull City got into the Premiership. And um, I don't really follow football, to be honest with you, but being the hack that I am, I managed to bash something out. And it's a bit of a strange one because it's the sort of point, if I play at a certain time, in a certain place, it could mean my death, basically, but I'm going to take the chance because I think there's at least one person out there who supports all City. It's just for you, mate, at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is Cyrus. They say pride comes before a fall, but when our backs are against the wall, we have the strength to see us through. At the end of the M62, but at the beginning of our prime, this is our moment, this is our time. Into the light throughout the dark, from Hazel Road to Orchard Park, in the cheers as the city unites, from the bottom to scale the heights. Side by side, in amber and black, Marching forward, never looking back. From the KC Stadium to way down south, they lay the voice of the humble mouth, and all the doubters can turn away. We silence the critics when we play. A team of heroes to carry our dreams to the top. And now it seems that we're all part of one big crew. We're all city. Who are you? Going places we've never been before. We are tigers. Now hear us fucking raw. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.